Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit Splits with me, Fujit. Hello. So, yesterday I did a video on the T57 Heavy, the American Tier 10 Heavy. So, I thought, well, hang on a moment, let's have a look at the other American autoloader sitting in Tier 10, which is this little beastie, the M6 Yo. Now, I must admit, I love this tank. I think this tank is absolutely brilliant, and I play it a lot because I really like it. Now the Yo comes with two guns which we'll look at although I generally play it with the three shot for various reasons. The thing about the Yo is that it ain't the T57 Heavy and it's not the AMX 50B. It's got similar parameters but it's not really I don't think the same play style and there's a reason for that. So let's jump over into blitz stars and have a look at tank compare now here i've got all the tanks together and as you can see i've got two yo's the first yo is the three shot the second yo is the two shot and for comparison i've also stuck in the t57 heavy and the amx 50b first off the bat you can see that with the three shot or yo the dpm is by far better than all the other three autoloaders although the Yo is not another three, it's just a different gun. The three-shot Yo is churning out just over 3,000, which is much better than the AMX and the two-shot Yo, and slightly better than the T57 Heavy. But you will see that the Alpha damage does drop significantly down to 300, where all the others are pushing 400 plus. Penetration on this thing, however, is obscene. Same as the T57 Heavy. It's one of the only tanks that will actually go frontally through a Hori, and we'll see that later. Rate of fire, well, you can see there, it's 10 shells a minute compared to just over five and a half shells for the two-shot Yo, just over seven and a half shells for the T57 Heavy, and just below seven and a half for the 50B. Reload time is absolutely brilliant for this thing, 12.5 seconds, compared to almost 20 seconds for the two shot, 18 and a half for both the 50B and the 57 Heavy. You can see there that the three clip, the intershell is 2.5 seconds, which is the same as the 57 Heavy, which is faster than the 50B, but a lot slower than the two shot Yo, which only has an interclip reload of 1.7 seconds. However, and here's the thing, so every 20 seconds in a two-shot yo, you can effectively churn out 900 damage because it's 450 per shot. Two shots, 900 of damage. However, for 24 seconds in a yo with a three clip, you can churn out 1800 because three times three is nine times two is 18. So this is why I actually prefer the three shot. I don't need the big derp gun. What I need is DPM. That's why I play it. Now, a lot of people would may disagree with me. And that's completely up to you. I mean, whatever you feel comfortable with, roll out in. You can see there the caliber on the three shot is a lot lower. It's 105 compared to the 120. That sort of tells you why, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's not dishing out that massive damage. Aim time, well, the aim time is not too bad. It's comparable to 50B, not as good as the 57 Heavy, but better than the two shot. Same as the dispersion, not as good as the 57 Heavy or the 50B, but better than the two shot. And you can see here that the three shot is, is not as good as some of the tanks, but it's better than the two shot, basically. Gun depression, well, you've got 10 degrees, which is much better than the 57 Heavy and the same as the 50B. Excuse me. Speed, well, it's a heavy tank. It's not a 50B. You know, I mean, the power to weight ratio is pretty bad. And it, it's got, it's a big chunky tank. So where the 50B is churning out 50 kilometers an hour, this thing is churning out 35, which is the same as the 57 Heavy but it is faster going backwards than the 57 heavy you can see there the engine power is pretty low to be fair it's power to weight ratio not the best 
the effective horsepower to to you know to torque is not the best. The terrain resistance, well, it's better than a 50B, and it's comparable and to an extent slightly better than the 57. And you can see there its camo rating is, well, it's better than the 50B, it's not as good as the 57 Heavy. But what are the credits? Well, credit coefficient it's not great. It's the same as the 50B. Uh, but if you enrich it, it's pretty decent, to be honest with you, 134%. View range, well, same as all the rest. Hit points, got a lot more, 2,450, which is 150 more than the 57 Heavy and 50 more than the 50B. Look at that armor. Turret armor, 200. Okay, the side of the turret and the back of the turret is beaten by the 57 Heavy, but the hull armor, sides and rear, it's within parameters. Then we start looking at the win rate. 57 Heavy is not even coming close to this beautiful American tank. That's basically the comparison between the two. So what else have we got to see? Well, let's have a look at its armor because the armor is an interesting thing on the Yo. Now, I like the Yo, and this is the Yo's armor. And as you can see, frontally, that bottom plate, that, 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 bottom of the, of the hull is pretty wide open. I mean, you can pen that pretty easily. I mean, 224 millimeters, you're gonna go through that with ease. But this thing's got 10 degrees of gun depression. So effective, so realistically, you are looking at it like this, or you should be. You should be looking at it like this, okay? And then that plating changes massively. And so does the turret armor. If you see here, I mean, front on, it's going to be an easy pen, but all these are basic bounces, you know, I mean, it's not going to pen, it's going to pen, it's not going to pen any of these. It will pen the hatches quite easily, they're 185 and 133 millimeters. It will pen the bottom plate if you're silly enough to stick it over the ridge, but that's what it should be looking like all down. When you have it on face on though, then the, the turret cheeks come into play and you can pen those. You can pen onto the gun and you may see a lot of players driving out in battle with the yo like this the reason being is to stop that pen here so when you see the top players rolling out with the guns raised that's why they're doing it and they they generally don't wiggle the turret they just generally keep the gun up no point putting the gun down because then you expose this so you generally will see players rolling out with the gun raised a little bit when they're moving to try and get those auto bounces. Thing is, the cheeks, as I said, are wide open and so is the front plate. So you've gotta be careful of that with the yo. It's not as is, is protected as people think. Don't get me wrong, it's a great tank, it's a fantastic tank and it's a very, very juicy tank, but it's not as protected as people would like to think that it is. However, let's jump into a game and let's see how the Yo matches up out there. Now this is me on Black Goldville and what we're gonna do, we're, we're gonna go up towards the caves because I've just seen that one of our tanks has gone over to that middle area to get those spots. Now I've looked at their lineup already. I'm pretty sure that they're not gonna be going to where the sea cap is. They're gonna be hanging around this area type of thing. So I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna try and get into a relatively decent-ish position to try and see if we can get some shots going in. So there's the AMX 50B. Maybe I can get one into him. Yes, I can. The Object 140 is nicely all down and I, I spend too long in the open here trying to get a shot into his turret and I don't get it and he gets a shot into me. Not to worry because I'm just going to back away. Now the thing about the Yo is it's got this quirky track thing so they're very difficult to track basically and what you're looking at 9 times out of 10 is that it's like you can still roll out without being perma-tracked and that's a good thing in the yo it's also a pain in the backside when you're trying to you know put them into place one thing i love about this tank is it's good i mean okay the aim time is a bit there but i mean look at that hoary i mean that hoary is just wide open on the, on its sides and this is with standard ammunition i'm not using premium ammunition here 
So this is one of the reasons why I like the Yo. I mean, this penetration is fantastic. And you can dish out 900 damage in approximately 10 seconds. That That's not, sorry, yeah, in approximately six seconds, which isn't bad, you know. I mean, it's a three second click reload, so it's, it's two, yeah, it's not bad at all. I like that two and a half seconds in between the rounds, and you can get the, 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 the stuff down there very quickly. We're not setting the world on fire in this game, we never do. We've done, what, 1500, the crown bargain now is a little bit aggressive out in the open, uh, allowing me to put the shots into him. We've already taken out the Hori, which was lovely because he's a danger. 50B is now uh, still a dangerous tank out there. Uh, but I'm going to take out this crown bargain, and the crown bargain is going to go down eventually. Down he goes. 50B is gone as well. Here comes the T92 on his YOLO roll because why not? You know, he's trying to get that Yag Panther. E100. The player in the Jagdpanzer, by the way, is plays the Yeguru plays spectacularly well, and all of those detractors out there who say that you know 43% win rate players or whatever are no good, he has a great game, and he's a 40 something percent win rate player. So never discount it. So we end that game with 3,465 damage dished out. We did okay. I said we're not setting the world on fire. The idea of this video is not to show you how fantastically brilliant. You know, I am, because I'm not, is to show you the tank and what the tank can do and how the tank performs. You know, if you just want to see golden M's, then fair enough. But the idea is that not every game is going to be a golden M. And sometimes to get the golden M, it's, you know, you've got to have a little bit of luck on your side or a, a bad team on the other. So now moving to the next game, this is me on Yamata Harbor. And I like to go, when I'm in a haul down heavy tank, with some decent gun depression. I like to go to this side when I spawn on this side of the map. Maybe because you get a little bit of protection from this ramp area. And you, you can get a good positioning on crossfires and stuff. The Kranwagen gets one into me there, but I bounce the 62 and then I get one into the Kranwagen. Now, all I need to do in real terms is just hold this line. That's all I need to do. And the Yo is capable of doing that, much like you, I showed you in the T57 Heavy yesterday, that it can hold a corner, it can hold a line, it can hold a position. The Yo is able to do that also. And we're going to give this poor 57 a, a bit of a hard time. We're already up to 1,500 damage. So sorry, 1,100 damage. We've 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 shot two two magazines basically. So we're not hitting the DPM nowhere near, not even close. But we're okay. We're holding the line. Oh, this 57 Heavy, he thinks he's safe, but he's just not because his turret, that's a bounce though, but because his turret is wide open, bless him, and I get a few more shots into him. Now we're up to just shy of 2,000 damage, so we're doing okay. Never forget, it's 3,000 a minute, so we're not that far away. Um, we're just over a minute into the game, coming up to two minutes into the game. So we're hitting half the DPM in real terms, which is not bad. I mean, don't forget the DPM on a tank is if you land every shell perfectly and get the, the, the top damage, the high roll every time. So it's, it's, it's a bit of a flaw parameter. Oh, the poor C62A has gone AFK, that's free damage. And you may be sat thinking, why are you hitting him? Because I didn't know he was AFK, I know he's AFK now. So we've just done 2.4k, we're having fun, we've lost a little bit of hit points, nothing to complain about, but one into the T62, oh the crown wagon's going to stay in my sights, that's lovely, I can smack him a bit more and probably take him out, and I do. So I'm going to sit here, just going to reload, I'm going to take the 62 out because it's free damage, we're now hitting 3000 damage, so we might as well increase that as much as we can, and we do. So that's nice, it's always lovely. But as you can see, I haven't moved that far from this position. And one of the things I generally do, I like to wait for the enemy to make a mistake. I generally like to wait for them to push me rather than me to push them. Obviously, I will push them when the time is right. But the time isn't always right in the first 20 seconds of the game, okay? Which is when everybody seems to want to sort of push everybody. So. We held the corner, now it's time for us to move. We've saved our hit points for this moment. We've been active in the battle. We can now afford to push forward and take out these TDs. Down goes the 183, spin it around, and down goes the Waffle Tractor. We end the game with 4.5k, we bounced 
and we took four kills. I'm quite happy with that game. I mean, it's not amazing, it's not brilliant, it's not fantastic, it's just a nice game. I get a first class for my efforts and a top gun. So, you know, this is what you can do in a yo. But don't be so eager to rush out there and stick your nose out on the front line because you can get smacked and you will get smacked. This is the last game and this is me on dead rail. Now, I showed you a game yesterday on the T57 on dead rail and I said, well, you know, that yo was a little bit out of position but he was doing the right thing and it's something that I would have done as well. And just to prove that point, this is me on dead rail in a yo doing a similar thing. I'm gonna use the turret armor, I'm gonna use the gun depression, get those spots and see if we can get some shots across. Um, I missed that shot completely for fit. I'm not interested in the 60 TP, he can't pen me. Um, and I can't pen him, but I'm interested in the, in the Death Star, and the Death Star is gone out of the game. Now, I've got a choice. I could stay there, which would be useless, or I could see my E5 is doing a mad push, and I could go and help him. I'm not going to rush in there. He stuck himself in a horrible position. He is wide open, and he's just asking to be smacked. 50B comes rolling in. I don't know why that one bounced, but it did. Uh, so I put a couple of shots in through B. Already done just over a thousand damage and we're just over a minute into the game. So game we're not hitting the DPM, but we're getting there. It's not too bad. So I'm worried about the 50B. The E5 is signed is finally worked out the error of his ways and he's trying to back away into cover. I am worried about the 50B, so I'm very reluctant to push around this corner if I'm being honest with you. But I can now see the 50B is not interested in me. I mean, my camo has been reset. I'm not proximity spotted. That will give me time to push on to this E100, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Can I get a full clip into him? If I can, that'll be lovely. And yes, I can. So I'm now at 2,100 damage. I bounced 600, that came from the 50B. No, came from the 60TP. I'm okay at the moment, I'm happy. I can see that the enemy team have lost two tanks. We effectively got them on the back foot. I'm going to try and give this E100 a hard time. I take the shot from him, bounce that one, which is annoying, because had I not bounced that one, I would have left him down to next to nothing. I wouldn't have cleared him, but he would have been next to nothing. But now I am in a world of problems. I've got the 50B chasing me. The E100 will be loaded. I get the bounce on the E100. I don't get the bounce on the 50B. I get a shot into the 50B. Can I get another one into him? Yes, I can. He's now at one shot. The E100 is gone. And I screw up here. I had bad ping yesterday. That's why my, my stream didn't last so long. Um, so I screwed that up. And I'm going to screw up again in a minute because, as I said, I had massive ping spikes yesterday. And I over angle, which you shouldn't do. Um, and the 50B gets one in. I can take it, but then I, I'm losing hit points unnecessarily. So I lost. He uh, hit me there unnecessarily. It's now two against four. There is the 60 TP. I'd like to get shots into him if I can. Um, now the poor old 60 TP low rolls me, he leaves me on 29 HP. Wow, I got lucky there. So I've now done 3,900 damage. I found 1.6, uh, but I'm now going to dead load it. And as you can see, my repair kits and my first aid kit isn't going to be coming anytime soon. Thankfully, the Progetto is chasing down that 60 TP, and that's enough to turn the 60 TP's gun away from me and onto the Progetto. That allows me to come in and basically give him some pain, which I do. We're now up to 4.5k. We survive that little skirmish. More luck than judgment, if I'm being honest with you, but we still survived it and it was still a nice, uh, a nice rollout. We just got the T62 to go, there he is. And before anybody says anything, no, he is not AFK. He is incredibly healthy um, and he's incredibly active. You can see him turning there. So maybe we can, I'm not gonna rush up there. We can get shots from here, how that one bounced, don't know. But we'll finish him off and we'll finish the game on just over 5,000 damage. Yes, I fully admit, I got a bit lucky with the 60 TP. It was a slight low roll that he hit me with. But I'm, getting, I'm trying to show you of what the tank is capable of. And the Yo is capable of so much. I mean, like I said, I really like this tank. I think it's a fantastic tank and a really, really beautiful tank to play. And once you get used to it, once you realize that you can be slightly aggressive, once you realize you can really go all down and, and, and give everybody a hard time, then 
believe me, you will have fun in this thing. Now, as I said, I'm not a big fan of the big, derpy two-shot. I much prefer the three-shot. And I prefer the three-shot because it suits my needs. It suits what I'm after. I'm after the DPM. I'm after the ability to put ammunition down there a lot quicker. I'm just not skilled enough to roll out in the two-shot effectively. I'm more effective with the three-shot. Anyway, that has been the M6. Yo, I've been fooded. By all means, comment and everything below. Tell me what your thoughts are on the Yo. I mean, I think it's a fantastic tank. And it, to me, I would, I, I, you know, I love the 50B and I love the 57 Heavy. But this is by far my favourite um, autoloader heavy tank in the tier. So if I'm being honest, although I do like the other tanks. But, um, and I do love my 50B, don't get me wrong. I mean, that thing is just a damage machine. But anyway, that has been the M6GO, as I've said. I've been Fujit. I look forward to hearing what you have to say about this. I hope that's been a useful video for you. And if it's not, then again, let me know. Tell me what I can do to improve and make things better for you. And until the next time, guys, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because that really is what it's all about. Having fun being happy.